the Idol producer sued for preying on Paula Abdul. That's the allegation. Now there's others who are stepping forward. Paula Abdul has accused former American Idol producer Nigel Lithgow of sexually assaulting her in the early 2000s when she was a judge on the reality competition show, according to a new lawsuit. Lawsuit filed Friday in Los Angeles accuses Lithgow of sexually assaulting Abdul after she left American Idol and became a judge on Lithgow's other competition show. So you think he can dance. The lawsuit states Abdul remained silent for years about the alleged assaults out of fear of retaliation by one of the most well-known producers of television competition shows. AP with the reporting. According to the lawsuit, the first sexual assault occurred while Abdul and Lithgow were on the road filming auditions for an earlier season of American Idol, which premiered in 2002. Abdul says Lithgow groped her in the elevator of their hotel after a day of filming and began shoving his tongue down her throat. Abdul pushed him away and ran to her hotel room when the elevator doors opened. In tears, Abdul quickly called one of her representatives to inform them of the assault, lawsuit says, but ultimately decided not to take action for fear that Lithgow would have her fired from American Idol. He would, that is my opinion. 2015, Abdul became a judge on So You Think You Can Dance, appearing alongside Lithgow. Around the time Abdul alleged in the lawsuit, Lithgow forced himself on top of her during a dinner at his home, tried to kiss her. Abdul said she again pushed Lithgow away, immediately left. Abdul left the reality show after two seasons. She has not worked with Lithgow since. I'm reading the body language in this promo picture, and and I'm not an expert, but I still know what I see. Lawsuit also accuses Lithgow of taunting Abdul about the alleged assault, saying to her years later that, quote, they should celebrate because the statute of limitations had run. Abdul filed the lawsuit days before the December 31st deadline of a California law that opened a one year window for victims to file lawsuits involving sexual abuse claims after the statute of limitation has run out. Lithgow denies the accusation. Lithgow said in a statement that he was shocked and saddened to hear of the allegations made by Abdul, who he said he considered a dear and entirely platonic friend. That's what women do. We just just pick somebody out of a lineup and say, I'm going to make up a story about you. And I'm going to put really salacious details in it. While Paula's history of erratic behavior is well known, this is another old playbook, right? This is, you know what's going on here, right? I don't have to tell you. I can't pretend to understand exactly why she would file a lawsuit that she must know is untrue, Lithgow said in a statement. I can promise that I will fight this appalling smear with everything I have. Well, now you're going to fight it against Paula and some other people because they're now coming forward. I wonder if you're going to use the same playbook here too. Are they all nuts and Isn't that what you do? You got to muddy them up, right? Erratic behavior. Well, let's see. Other accusers have come forward. On the heels of Paul Abdul's lawsuit, veteran TV producer Nigel Lithgow Lithgow, finds himself facing a second lawsuit, claiming he sexually assaulted and harassed two contestants 20 years ago on a reality competition show. Both women were contestants on the show All American Girl, which aired for one season back in 2003. And Lithgow was a producer on the program. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, the women allege he would repeatedly show up on set and in dressing rooms when they were wearing dance costumes and openly swatted and groped their butts. In the suit, which the plaintiffs are filing is Jane Doe's. They say production hosted a party to celebrate the end of filming. At the end of the party, they claim Lithgow insisted one of the women ride with him back to the studio where everyone else on the cast was going. Second plaintiff insisted on going with them to protect her fellow contestant. But they allege Lithgow drove them back to his home where he made sexual advances on both of them. In the suit, they allege he lifted up the sweater she was wearing and quote, engulfed one of the women while trying to kiss her. And she immediately rejected him. Other plaintiff claims he got aggressive with her by pushing her against a grand piano and forcing his mouth and tongue on her, all of which she protested. The women are suing Lithgow and an unnamed production company for sexual assault and battery, sexual harassment, intentional infliction of emotional distress and negligence. 
As TMZ said, they filed anonymously and the suit only identifies the defendant as John Rowe NL. And the show is AAG. TMZ has confirmed through sources with knowledge they are referring to Nigel Lithgow, an all American girl. I'm so tired of this, Jackson. I don't know women who haven't experienced some of this, including while well, I'm looking at her. It's me. Hello. And I had a powerful man in television, my first job. I could have written this lawsuit. Some of me to his office, stick his tongue down my throat. Didn't ask for it, okay? With your thin lips. I didn't ask for any of it. You're disgusting, okay? <laughs> I think he does some kind of appearance somewhere here and there. And he also paid out a lot of money. It's why I knew some of the allegations were true as soon as I heard it, because I know him, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll do it live. I want to know how you react to this one. I want to know how you react to this. I mean, just uh, uh, another guy who ain't got it, who wish he did. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, I mean, that's all it is. Cause like, you know, stuff like this obviously goes in the power. Pl- I'm sorry, I told y'all I didn't sleep. But, it, you know, a lot of this goes in the power plays because if it was just about sex, you can just go pay for it, especially uh, for somebody in a position like him. You know, you can just go legally uh, buy it, um, or oh, legally or illegally. It doesn't matter. I'm so glad you said that. Um, yeah, but again, like it's kind of more. You know, we we fantasize about the things that we want, especially sexually, and so you know, a lot of people can have a difficult time keeping those uh, desires in their minds, and they have to go for it. And um, you know, so obviously that doesn't make it okay, but a lot of the time that's what it is. This guy's just like, oh, like they can't keep the fantasy in their minds, and unfortunately, it ends up turning into assault in a lot of situations. But um, you know, men in powerful positions can end up being dangerous, even even if they're dweebs. The you know the what's yeah. the name? What's what's the dude's name? Um, who's in prison now? The dude, the toad looking dude. Nah, the dude the who made all them movies. The dude who looks like a big toad. Um, <laughs> who made all them movies? I don't know why I I I didn't oh, sleep. Oh, uh, so Weinstein. Think yeah, Weinstein. Mm. Hit television. You know, like movies. yeah, yeah, like people like him. You know. Um, if they can't get a woman to desire them or the women they want to desire them, well, they'll take it anyway. And yeah. now, I get, now I got that over you. I, you know, so it's, it's, it's sick, but, uh, women got to be careful. And, and like you yeah. said, the older you get, the more like, like I'm going to be 32 in a few weeks. So like at this point in my life, you know, you just kind of realize, damn, and like women really go through a lot of stuff out here at the hands mm-hmm. of men that. I just don't really need to worry about is a six foot six, 220 pound person. You yeah. feel me? Like, I, thank you for women. For women definitely that. go through a lot. Yeah. yeah. We have goals and dreams too. And when someone does this, it doesn't surprise me. Oh, why'd you wait so long, Paul? Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because she didn't want to get blackballed. He's already calling her nuts. And it's okay. just goofy to defend stuff like this so too. You know? Like it does, right. like what do you really it, it's just like uh, I guess you're you're doing it for the guys, which yeah. is <laughs> you know. But and we, now we, you yeah, you brought a bunch of other women out. Okay. And I mm-hmm. apologize, maybe I'm sleepy because when you said quote looks like a toad, I should have it right away. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, Harvey I'm Weinstein. Done. Yeah. Right. 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 Bo- both of us are sleep deprived. We right. both some insomnia. Look like today. a toad. That's <laughs> done telegraphed it, right? <laughs> yep. 